Hey y'all, welcome to Let's Roll Outdoors. I'm pulling a beach cart out here on uh, on the beach. All right, we're in North Carolina. We're in the area of Buxton, Ramp 44. And since it's turtle season now, you can't drive your vehicle on the beach at night after nine o'clock. So we got here late, but we're still gonna go fish. So I got a beach cart full of junk behind me, a bunch of fishing rods, a bunch of gear, and we're working our happy butts out here to do a little surf fishing. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Let's see if anything's biting. Let's roll. All right, getting rigged up here. Putting the rods together. We got uh, 20 pound test outfits, 40 pound shock leaders, cannonball rigs, and uh, you know, these sliding, basically a sliding weight rig. All right. Cannonball and eight and bait rigs. You can Google that, cannonball and eight and bait, if you wanna check those rigs out. 12 foot rods, good south wind blowing at us. We're gonna try them out. All right, here we go, we're going out, first cast. Following the kids out here. Into the wind we go. It's high tide. We're out here in the middle of the night, high tide. Wind blowing in our face real hard. Getting wet. All right, there we go. Bait's out. All right, we've been fishing about 30 minutes and we think we got something on here. All right, well, this is the way to start the trip. He said, it's not really pulling. Yeah, no kidding. They're pulling on each other. Look at that. Nature at its finest. Jeez, good catch, buddy. Leave them alone. They need to go back, uh, back to their hotel. All right, let's go catch a real fish. All right, y'all. It's about 7:30 out here on the point. It's the middle of May multiple fish being caught this morning and I'm trying to catch up to my son down here he looks like he's hooked up again I'm always up at the truck messing with gear and uh, trying to catch up with these guys but yeah pretty good morning nice and warm lots of fish being caught Got about a 30 incher there. All right, there we go, about a 30 incher, 35 incher. All right, we're hooked up here. He's that wave and bring him in. All right, got another drum. Good job. Little guy. All right, y'all, it's about 740. And people are catching fish up and down the beach. I think I'm just one of them unlucky guys today. There's always the guy that's just out there watching everybody else catch. I'm that guy today. Still fun. 
All right, everybody working together. Doing the tango dance. Here, go down a little bit more. Let's see if we can land this one. Okay, I see the shock leader. There he is. Another drum. All right. Oh, a little bit bigger one there. There you go. All right, got another one. Oh, a hefty one there. All right, there it is, folks. Red drum, like a 35 incher maybe. Fat sucker. All right, let's put them back in the water. There he goes. All right, but bite's been coming all up and down the point today. From that direction to that direction, all the way to the end. All right, good job. Let's get some more. All right, so while I'm sitting here uh, not catching anything, filming other people catch stuff, thought about like just kind of throwing out some things to think about if you ever want to come try this. Obviously, if you're a pro and you come out here all the time, I'm not telling you anything new. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes out here with custom rods, very expensive reels, and uh, it's just fun to watch them cast and catch fish. So it's pretty cool if you've never been out here before. Uh, but things to think about, all right, lots of extra terminal tackle, spools of line, all right, so 17, uh, you know, people use 15 to 20 pound tests out here, uh, but bring extra, all right. Every time I've been out doing this style of fishing, I've had to re-spool reels. So make sure you have extra spools of line, you know, hundreds and hundreds of extra, extra yards of line, uh, because these reels take about uh, 250 to 300 yards of line. So uh, extra hooks, extra swivels, extra weights, leader line, all right? And uh, make sure, before you ever even come out here, make a bunch of leaders, because when the fish start biting, you don't want to be screwing around back at the truck trying to, trying to st uh, tie stuff on. I can't even speak. So that's what happened this morning. We had a good bite, and uh, we broke off a couple times and had to uh, re-tie. So if you already had that stuff ready to go, you just keep on fishing. And uh, that's what's up. So extra line, extra gear, extra terminal tackle, hooks, weights, motivation, smiles. Because <laughs> you might be like me, watching everybody else catch fish and, uh, you know, you're just enjoying the beach. So that's what we got going on right now. It's about 8.30 and uh, waiting for a bite. Okay, y'all, here's the deal. It's about 9 in the morning and it's all dead now. It's all quiet out here. You can see the point kind of emptied out this this spot right here was full of people two hours ago and now it's not all right it's about dead low tide there might still be drum out there but the big school that was here this morning is is not still biting or if they've moved off or what so i'm gonna keep pounding i only got a couple hours left to fish then i gotta go but it's kind of cool how there's that mad rush everybody out here fishing everybody uh doing the congo line working together and then it empties out to nothing. It's the mid-morning lull. Everybody's getting breakfast. Everybody's making snacks, eating bologna and cheese sandwiches. That's what I'm eating. And, uh, you know, it's just empty now. A few folks are catching whitings, all right? One of my sons put on a two-hook bottom rig, and he's just over there catching whitings. Um, and, hey, okay, it's just a nice day out here now. Look at this. See, so the point isn't always packed. When the fish aren't biting... <laughs> You can have it all to yourself. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go out here and cast a little bit. Try to catch a fish. All right, y'all, last cast here. It's getting about lunchtime. We got to get home. Uh, got a three-hour drive home and got to leave around noon. So it's right about noon now. We're going to take one more last cast, maybe a couple more casts. 
here's what we use for bait, all right, mullet. And we're just hooking on chunks like this and fillets, you know. Um, here, you can see the size. Eight and nine-out hooks, chunk of mullet. Put that thing on there, just like that. Sliding weight. All right, let's go. Let's get. Let's see if. Let's see if Dad can get a drum before we get out of here. All right. Uh, you always want to make sure you got going on there is a good drag set so if something big comes you know it can pull line like that so I you know, check the line make sure it can you know not too loose so the current isn't just pulling your line but if a big fish comes and yanks it down or you got to fight a fish you want it to be able to pull a little line so it doesn't break your line okay all right let's see if uh, see if we can get it done here been fishing all morning dad can't get a bite the kids caught a couple Lots of other folks caught fish, and uh, they're here. Uh, of course, it's in the middle of the day. Uh, usually, you get bites uh, in the evening, in the morning, and then uh, in the middle, you know, throughout the night. You, know, you catch a lot of drum at night, usually. A lot of guys night fish for these things. But you never know when one, one might come by. So, we're going to stick it out for a little bit longer before we get out of here and uh, see what happens. All right, we're going to wrap up this video, hopefully, with a fish. We've been fishing all morning. together out here. Teamwork, teamwork. This one's fighting a little bit harder. Alright, we just released that last one. Pass out again, we got another one.
up. This one's bigger, all right. Look at this fat dude. I bet I could give him 40 right on the dock. Alright. He's a nice one either way. Let's get him back in the water. Alright, here we go. Back in the water. the video all right thanks for joining us on let's roll outdoors we got it done in the middle of the day after everybody else caught a fish i finally got some that's it let's roll